Everybody. Well, I've been getting a lot of questions about shellbacks and channelbacks, either or. So I don't actually have a shellback in the shop today, but I'm, I'm going to try to improvise a little bit and show you how to cut, cut the fabric out um, for a shellback. So most shellbacks, they look like a shell, so they're angled at the bottoms, they're smaller, and the tops, they're a little, a little higher, not wider. So I, I'm trying to represent that here, show you. So um, this is actually a small wing chair. It's a salesman's wing chair that came into the shop the other day. So um, when you measure it, uh, the first thing you do is you want to measure the up and down measurement on the chair. And the trick here is make sure that you don't over oversize this measurement. You're going to tuck the, me the tape in about an inch on the bottom of the chair, and you're going to go around the top to where you think it's going to be tacked. And then add, this is 28. Add no more than an inch, so we'll say 29, right? This is important because if you make that, if you extend that measurement like we normally do, the angle goes off on the, well, this is going to be angled and sewn at an angle, so that the longer you make it this way, the less of an angle you're going to get. So make sure, so we're going to say 29. We're going to represent that like we normally do with just a slash mark side to side. And then I'm going to get like an overall side to side measurement. Um, what you want to do is just push your tape measure, you know, go way into the chair on the left channel and then just take your finger and go into each channel like this all the way to the other side and go well into the chair. Side to side, it doesn't matter, you can have a little bit more, so that's 32. So I'd say, you know, six inches or so, um, actually, I just made a mistake, so I just want to adjust that. The 29 is the up and down measurement, which we usually show a slash this way, and the 32 is the side to side, which we show in a slash this way. So now the other thing I want to show you that on this particular one, there are five channels. So this is the center point of the chair and the center point of the channel right there. Some, some, uh, if you have an even amount, sometimes they'll, they'll be, the seam will be the center point. That's important for you to know. So when you draw this out, I want you to represent that in the drawing that we draw out here. So I'm going to draw, let's say we cut our fabric. I'm, not, I'm trying something new today. I'm not, going to show, I'm not going to show you on fabric. I'm trying to show you on paper. Um, so I just cut this 29. Let's say this is 29 by 32. We can even put a little 29 over here to show you, and then 32 down here. Right? All right? 29 by 32. So now what, what you do is the top of the channels, what you want to do, most channels that that you go into into the into each seam on the end um, well you'll see start start at this channel when you get this measurement you go into the, the seam to seam most of them are going to be six inches um, so if it's six inches on a on a fairly on a most chairs it's six it measures six you're going to cut it seven okay you know what let's round this off let's make this um, Let's make this five. You actually measure five, and then we're going to cut it six to get a half inch um, on each seam. I'll show you that in a minute. First, I'm going to show. I'm going to put a center point on the on the fabric, and then I'm going to go six inches, three inches, three inches, and six inches. So to represent those those top channels so we have you have one channel two channel three channel four five and six six channels at six inches now i cut the fabric longer so your end channels will be extended don't cut your end channels down those are those are going to be extended right because you have enough fabric there'll be extra fabric you need that end channel to tuck into the chair okay so now on the bottom, so all these are six inches. Usually it's an inch smaller on the, on the bottom, so it'd be five inches. But what, what you do before though, you, a lot of people, the mistake they make is they go five inches this way, just like they did up here. But this is the trick. You wanna make sure that you, you represent the, the six inch up at the bottom. And I'll show you that. I'm gonna do that now. I'm gonna do that in a, in a longer line than the center point, so you know that you're not dealing with the center line. If that makes any sense. So now I have the same six ounce, six six inch 
down here, okay? So what you want to do at each center point, which happens to be right here is the center point of the center channel, you want to go two and a half inches off because these are going to be five inches. And that's to allow a half of an inch, same for your muslin, it's going to be sewn on the back. And then um, we're going to represent the two and a half off each center point with the dotted line. Okay, and here's, this, here's it now, your center point like this, like this, like this like this, and like this. So I'm going to draw these out. I'm going to draw these, but these should look like a TP shape. I'll show you that in a minute. So the reason, the reason you have to cut it out like this is because you have to maintain a, um, a center point, the center points on this. And I know that this is probably going to be a little confusing for most people. My students get uh, a little confused by this, but that's, that, that's why later on I might, I might represent it in fabric, just to show you. Okay, let's do one. No, I guess that's it. So I'm going to cut this along here. Let's just cut this here. So this, we're gonna, this is going to be a little longer, this one here. This is the right side. This, this is these three I'm cutting on right now. I'm going to go now. What you, what you don't want to do is cut all the way. You're going to leave it like an inch piece of fabric along here. You're not going to cut into it. But you're going to end up with these little wedge shape or teepee shapes. So I'm going to cut those, take that off. So what happens here now is on your muslin, you're going to cut your muslin the same 29 up and down, and then one inch smaller on the top and the bottom. One inch smaller. One inch smaller. Um, and so what happens is you're going to lay this, once, you, once you've cut your muslin the same way, you're going to lay this on your muslin, and from the top, your face of the fabric's this way, you're going to stitch down the seams, half inch seams. You're going to match them up. What happens is, the muslin being, being narrower, being, being an inch smaller, is going to roll the fabric so that it will take your, your cotton for the channels. And um, so after you've sewn all of them down, then you're going to sew each one. You're going to fold it over like so, the, the muslin's on the back. You're going to fold them over like so and sew each seam down like so from the back, from the back. And then once you're done, you'll have one continuous piece. So filling them is a whole nother subject. So um, hopefully, I know, I know it's a little complicated, but um, I think we're going to do a later video. We'll show you actually showing you on the fabric. So I, I hope this helped a little bit, and I hope to see you again. Thanks.